Meanwhile, the Catholic Church in Boko area of Benue State has suspended Reverend Father Hyacinth earlier from public ministry for joining the governorship race in the state. The Bishop of the Diocese of Boko, Bishop William Avinia, noted in the letter that the Mother Church does not allow her clerics to get involved in partisan politics. His suspension was contained in a letter to all the priests, religious and laity Catholic dioceses of Boko, dated May 20, 2022. The Catholic bishop noted that the canonical suspension takes effect from the moment it is communicated to him and lasts until he ceases from contumacy. He stated very clearly in that letter that he has been suspended from celebrating public Eucharist. He remains the priest of the Catholic Church of the Diocese of Boko. The only thing that he's been suspended from is in the public people, the pulpit. He can't go and stand on the people in the public and celebrate Mass again. Privately, he can still be doing that. He only responded to the genuine agitation and calls by the Benue people for him to come and contest this election. You can find out from the Catholic Bishop and the, the Catholic Diocese of Boko. There are over a thousand plus letters written by individuals and groups calling on the bishop to release him to do this work. And this is in line with the canon law. You can find that from the church itself. The canon law that forbids priests from participating in politics as a caveat. And I will expect you to find that as a journalist. And so, back to what you say, the chances of becoming a governor, you can see the response of the people. The people want him to become a governor. They know that becoming a governor does not stop him from priesthood. And as a matter of fact, if you look at the last paragraph of the letter, if he's elected the governor, he will go back. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.